Here on Figure Tips, we try to come up with ideas for you to revamp stuff you can most probably find around your home. Yes, and today it's the turn of these boring old broken and chewed up pens. Not very inspiring, are they? But with a bit of fingertips know-how, we're going to show you how to turn them from these into these totally transformed pucker pens. They look fantastic, don't they? And to make one, all you need is a piece of oven-baked clay, a skewer and a pen. Can I grab one of them? Well, that one do. Oh, look, it's chewed up, it's manky and it's broken. It's perfect. And we give pucker pens a fingertips difficulty rating of two. So why not give your pen a makeover? Start off with a ball of oven-baked clay about this sort of size. And I'm going to make a jewelled pucker pen, so I only need one colour clay for now. Start by rolling the clay into a ball, then get your skewer and push that through the middle of the oven-baked clay, like so. And then you need to start rolling the clay into a sausage shape. Now, I'm going to try it for the stripy tiger effect, like this one here, and it's really easy to do. Once you've got your sausage shape there, you need to get some smaller bits of oven-baked clay and just place them onto the larger one, like this. Just get a few of these all the way along. There we go, a few more. And then push them into the sausage and carry on rolling. Keep rolling your sausage out flat until it's about the same size as the inside inky bit of your old pen. Now you can pull the wooden skewer out and the best way to do that is to keep it flat on a surface and pull the skewer out straight so the clay doesn't bend. And we found these wooden skewers are about the same width as the inside inky bit of an ordinary ballpoint pen. And before you pull it all the way out, you need to close up one end so that inky bit won't slide all the way through the pen. So just give that a little pinch and round it off with your finger. And then you can pull the wooden skewer all the way out, like that. And now transfer your pucker pens onto a baking tray and cook them in the oven according to the instructions on the packet. And when it has cooked and cooled down, it will be hard like this. Now, you could leave the pen like this, it looks fine, but we think it looks a bit better with a little varnish. And the easiest way to do that to stop your fingertips getting dirty is put the skewer back into the pen, get your varnish and cover the whole thing. There we go. And when you have covered the whole thing to leave it to dry, just push the skewer into some modelling clay like that. I've also given this one a lick of varnish and now I'm just adding some jewels using PVA glue to stick them on and you can use any design, it's up to you. Put on a brighter pink one on the end to complete my pattern and then you can leave that to dry in some more modelling clay on your skewer like that. And when it is dry, you can just add the inky inside bit of your boring old pen, push that in like that and your pucker pen is finished. And you can make other pucker pen designs by just using different shapes of oven baked clay pushed into the side. This Dalmatian one, that's a nice one. And also the leopard print design is pretty cool. Or add whatever you want to jazz up your pen. How about this elaborate flowered one? Or feathery version. The flowers and feathers were added after the pens have been baked. But it's up to you how you want to make your precious personalised fingertips pucker pen. Пока!